Hi guys, Nicole here from Orange and Olive and in today's video I'm going to show you how I make these three boho ornaments using Dollar Tree items and some macrame cord. I purchased this large spool of three millimeter macrame cord from Amazon and I'll put a link to that in the description below. I also use the small size ornament that comes in a two pack from the Dollar Tree along with a pack of the keychains also from the Dollar Tree. For our first ornament, we're going to measure out 10 strands of macrame cord at 30 inches long. Then we're going to take that strand, split it in half, and add it to the keychain using a reverse lark heads knot. Once you fold the cord in half, you're going to place the key ring on top of the cord and then bring the cord ends through the loop and then pull and tighten on the key ring. And you're going to do that for all 10 cords. Once you have that complete, we're going to take four cords that are right next to each other and we're going to start creating a square knot. To do this, we'll be using the far left cord and the far right cords as our working cords. The two cords in the middle will stay stationary. Take the far left cord, create what almost looks like a number four, and bring that over the two middle stationary cords. Then take that cord and place it under the far right cord. Take the far right cord, place it under the two middle cords, and then through the loop in the far left cord. Now we'll be doing these steps, but backwards. So we're going to take the far right cord, bring that over the two middle stationary cords, then take that cord and place it under the far left cord. Take the far left cord, place it under the two middle cords, and then through the loop in the far right cord. Then pull the two working cords tightly, working them to the top of the ring. Now we're going to do these same steps around the whole ring. Now that's complete, we're going to do another square knot, but we're going to take two cords from the neighboring groups, if that makes sense. So we'll take the two cords that are closest to each other, and then we'll start creating a square knot. Now this time, once we've created the first step in the square knot, we're not going to pull that tightly all the way up to the top. We're going to leave about a half inch to an inch of cord, so it creates this nice little loop and just make sure that those two loops remain the same size. And we're going to continue to do that around the whole ring. Now that that's complete, we're going to do the same process as we did in the last steps, creating a square knot, but leaving about a half inch to an inch of cord to create an even loop. And do that around the whole ring.
Now we're ready to attach our macrame to our ornament. Now I'm going to take a 16 inch piece of cord, cut that and then set it aside. I'm going to grab my ornament, put the top through the ring and then bring down all of the cords around the ornament and I'm going to pull tightly as I'm doing this. Now we're going to create a gathering knot. Form a loop or what looks like a letter U just below the cords with the short end facing upwards. Take the long end back up just below the short end and wrap tightly around all of the cords. Bring the long end through the loop then pull the short end until the loop is no longer visible. Now I'm going to take each one of my cords and pull tightly towards the gathering knot so all of my square knots are closer to the gathering knot. Doing this makes the design of the macrame really form around the ornament. Now take a pair of scissors and cut the cords to the length that you desire. Now start unraveling each one of the cords individually. And then I use my dog's hairbrush because it works really well on this. You can use a fine tooth comb, but then I just comb out all of the tassels. Doing this is going to make the tassels a little uneven, but you can go back through and then cut the tassels to your desired length. And then you're done. For this ornament, I'm going to cut 12 cords at 33 inches. Then I'm going to take the cord and instead of meeting the two ends exactly the same, I'm going to have one end be 10 inches long. Now I'm going to start to add each cord to the ring. When I add each cord to the ring, I'm going to make sure that the left 10 inch cord is always on the same side for each cord. So it would be short cord, long cord, short cord, long cord, all the way around the whole ring. Now I'm going to do a half spiral knot using two cords. My right cord is always going to be my working cord and my left cord will remain stationary. And all I do is take my right cord and bring it over the left cord and then up to the ring. I'm going to do this same knot 14 times down this cord and then I'll repeat the process on the remaining cords around the whole ring. As you add more knots to the cords, you'll start to see that the cords start to spiral and that's okay. That's what they're supposed to do. Just keep continuing until you have done 14 knots.
And this is exactly what they should look like when you're all done. Now I'm going to cut off a 30 inch piece of cord and then set that aside. Now we're going to do the same thing as we did for the last ornament and create a gathering knot. Once the gathering knot is complete, we can then take some scissors and cut off any excess cord. Now for our last ornament, I'm gonna cut eight strings at 60 inches long. I'm gonna split those in half, and then I'm gonna add them to the keychain. Now if you do this project, you might wanna cut your strings a bit shorter. I found that 60 inches was quite long, so maybe you wanna go 45 to 50 inches. And just like our first ornament, we're gonna do square knots. We're going to do one square knot around the whole perimeter of the ring. Now we're going to take two of the neighboring cords and bring those together with a square knot. And we're going to do this around the whole perimeter of the ring. Now we're going to take one grouping and create four square knots going down each group around the perimeter of the ring. Now I'm going to take a piece of cord and cut that to about 30 inches and then do the same thing that we did to the previous two ornaments and create a gathering knot. Once you're done, you can cut off the excess cords. That's it for today's video, guys. Let me know in the comments below what you thought about these ornaments. I've actually never put macrame on ornaments before, but I think they actually turned out pretty neat. So until next time, take care of yourself and each other. Bye, everyone.